Good morning, everybody. Now, if you gave money to Black Lives Matter, BLM, uh, last year or the year before, it seems that you've been had. And uh, the money that you thought was going to uh, certain things and certain causes and certain political objectives has actually disappeared into a black hole uh, where the people who are in charge of the movement or the foundation, whatever you like to call it, uh, have used the money to purchase nice big properties in the United States for themselves. Now, it was reported last year in the New York Post that one of the leaders, Patrice Carlos, had spent uh, some money, uh, millions, uh, actually millions of dollars on some uh, very nice homes for, for herself uh, to live in. And she resigned from the, the board uh, of the uh, foundation uh, back last year. But it's been reported again that another £6 million has been used by a seven-bedroom mansion in in Southern California by uh, the people associated with the Black Lives Matter Foundation. Uh, now, so All right, Shalom. This is the Brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. This is Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 4. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yehobashim, I will shout my power. Feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. All right, and I want to go into a lesson through the spirit based on the headline, the clip that you see right here in front of you or the uh, picture that you see right in front of you. Um, and it clearly says that uh, Black Lives Matter used donations to buy six million dollar Southern California home. All right. And this is the um, reoccurring theme of our people, especially those who have been set in a leadership position um, who have been set up by Esau Edom. All right. If you recall the origin of Black Lives Matter, it's um, a, a organization funded by George Soros. And for those who don't know, you can do your own research on that. But I want to highlight something. All right. And this is when you go into Zechariah, the 11th chapter, it says their own shepherds pity them not. All right. And when it refers to those shepherds, it's referring to those people who have been set in a leadership position amongst our people. All right. Whether it's the political system or systems like this, organizations like this that put on this facade as if they're um, working for the betterment of our people when really they're just making merchandise of you. All right. And this is where all of the um, donations went. All right. To enrich the top of this organization. All right. Now, when you look at the actual post of this on a uh, Social media says the purchase of the nearly six million dollar home had not been previously reported and BLM officials tried to keep its existence a secret from a journalist looking into the transaction, according to a new report. All right. And this organization is not alone. All right. You have many shepherds, so-called, um, who are really grievous wolves All right, who are taking advantage of the flock. In many different areas, all right, whether it's the church, all right, whether it's the so-called civil rights movements, all right, whether it's the entertainment industries, all of these people who have been set up through the spirit have been set up by Esau Edom to enrich themselves, all right, and this is a reoccurring theme because the scriptures say, and let's get it, let's go to Isaiah, let me go to Isaiah 3 really quick, it's Isaiah 3 and... Five, And the people shall be oppressed, everyone by another, and everyone by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, and the base against the honorable. And what you have is our people being oppressed by one another. And they're set up in these positions to en enrich themselves personally. All right, when you think about before BLM, it was Jesse Jackson. All right, it was uh, Al Sharpton. 
or it was a lot of different people who were set up. And what did they actually do? All right, for the betterment of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the answer is nothing. All right, they enriched themselves by uh, becoming a brand and monetizing their brand. And this is the storyline of the system that we live in. All right, me and a brother were having a conversation earlier today about this system being set up for your own personal gain. All right, but not for the welfare of your nation as a people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And these guys who are set up in these positions of power, all right, utilize those positions of power to enrich themselves. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 6. And it reads, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. All right, and, and the leadership, as it's called today, of our people is really folly. It really goes back to folly. All right. This is why entertainers, all right, uh, comedians are considered your leaders. And these are the people who have been put in a position to give opinions and speak for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a nation of people. And your shepherds pity, pity you not. All right. Um, these individuals who are at the top of BLM, all right, they don't care that uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans um, are in a destitute position, all right? They're all about enriching themselves. And this is a reoccurring theme, and that's why the scriptures say that the Lord will set up prophets according to his heart. As a matter of fact, let's get that. All right, so we're going to go to Jeremiah chapter... This is Jeremiah chapter thirty four, and I will start at verse one. All right, uh, Ezekiel thirty four and one, and the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, power unto the shepherds. Woe be, woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? All right. And this is why I kept this image up during this lesson through the spirit, because this is what all of them. All right. Bar none. All of them have set themselves up to feed themselves and not the flock. All of that donation money they took, and, and what did they do? They, they enriched themselves. And there's a testimony that they're hirelings, as Yahweh Shah said that they would be. All right? And this is why, through the Spirit, we come down so hard on um, the Christian church, first and foremost. All right? And then all of these other puppet leaders who are set up, uh, who put on this facade as if they care about the, the flock, and they don't. They're in a position of power to enrich themselves. All right, verse three reads, Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. Because none of that donation money went to do anything constructive concerning you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans when we're dealing with BLM. All right, they, they, they ran into some controversy earlier this year because one of the founders had bought a house that she tried to say wasn't from the donation money. And now that these transactions are being dug into, you're finding out that these movements are all, they all have the same narrative. They start off saying that they're for your good and they're trying to enrich and better your, your people and, and all of these things. And then when the smoke clears, you find out that they're grievous wolves. All right, that they snuck in pretending to be innocent, pretending to uh, fight for justice, and really what they're doing is just enriching themselves. But as the scripture says, the judge is, so is the people. All right? Verse 4 reads, The diseased have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty, 
have ye ruled them? All right. Because when you think about BLM, we'll just use that as an example. They really use that as a vehicle to push um, the alphabet gang. And for those who don't know. All right. I'll just start off with the first LBG and keep it at that. And they use BLM as a as a, a Trojan horse, if you will. To promote that outside of you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and the position that you're in. All right, this is why the scriptures talk about you haven't strengthened the diseased or healed the sick or bound up the broken. And I'll use this movement movement as an example, but many other examples are in our present day, whether it's the Christian church. All right. Or it's uh, these other uh, religions, a uh, black consciousness community where they put on this narrative that they are freeing us or giving us some sort of liberation or helping the betterment of their people. When really they're just taking donations, Snapchats, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, super uh, super chats and uh, cash apps. And they're enriching themselves. And this is what you have, a nation whose leaders are career politicians, just like the, the um, just like they're the, the uh, rulers of this world, because the scripture says as the judges, so as the people. So they're following the blueprint of Esau Edom. And this is why in Isaiah, the third chapter, and I'll get it one more time. It says. Verse five, and the people shall be oppressed, everyone by another and everyone by his neighbor. All right. And this is what happens. Those who have been put in those positions of power who have been set up, they do these things not out of the goodness of their own heart, but because they know that they stand to enrich themselves. When you deal with the pastors in the Christian church. All right. This is this is happening all over the planet and all of, and, and the majority of those who have been set up as leaders amongst our people are really only only in it for personal gain. All right. Now, I want to go to this Isaiah three and five and I want to grab the NLT. All right. And it says people will oppress each other, man against man, neighbor against neighbor. And that's exactly what you have. All right. And they say peace, peace. But yet through the spirit, you can see through the results. All right. That they're really just taking advantage of their positions. All right. Which is something that they ought not to do. All right. Now, let's go back to Ezekiel 34. And verse five, and it reads, and they were scattered because there is no shepherd and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. All right. And some of those. Um, beast of the field is our own people. All right. And this movement, all right, BLM is a perfect example of this. All right. This is wicked. All right. And through the spirit, I'm keeping my composure. But really, this is very upsetting and vexing, man. The idea that our people are um, are um, still placing their hope in, in things that cannot save. All right. Their eyes failing them. Matter of fact, let's get that. This is Lamentations chapter four and verse 17. And it reads, as for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Because what did BLM tell our people? You know, that through these protests, through these uh, laws being changed and these laws being fought against, that there would be some kind of change for our people and the persecution that we face um, on average. And what you're finding is that they're all just grievous wolves. They lie and wait. All right. They, they put on a good show and then they collect their check at the end and they walk off the stage. And this is why the Lord said war unto those shepherds, because they're not going to get away with this. Even now, the Lord is putting a spirit on Esau, Edom. All right. To to reveal certain things. All right. But Esau Edom is not going to be held guiltless. Because this is this is a system that's created where our people are really just following the blueprint of the one who's in charge. And this is why the day of the Lord's judgment is going to be so grievous, man, because this is pure wickedness, man, to take advantage of your own people. All right. Now, we know a lot of Edomites are involved in it, but our people are the face of it. 
And why did they agree to be the face of it? To enrich themselves. And all across this, all these different nine areas, like uh, I believe his name is Neely Fuller, all these nine areas of this society, you have Jake who's been put in a position not to actually help their people, but to enrich themselves. All right, now I wanted to read a little bit of this article from the NY Post. So that same picture that you're looking at right now, there's an article attached to it, and I'll just read a little bit of it. It said, Black Lives Matter bought a swanky Southern California home for nearly $6 million using donation cash, according to a report Monday. Three leaders of the social justice movement, Patrice Cullors, Alicia Garza, Melina Abdul Abdullah, recorded a video last June outside of the secretly bought home while marking the one-year anniversary of George Floyd's murder, New York Magazine reported. Colors at the time said she was weeks removed from being in survival mode after post-exclusive reporting in April revealed her purchase of four high-end U.S. homes for $3.2 million. All right, and the quote says, it's because we're powerful, because we're winning, Colors said of what she characterized as right-wing media attacks. It's because we are threatening the establishment we're threatening white supremacy. And this is what Jake does. They take the narrative and the struggle of their own people and they exploit it for their own personal gain. All right. This is why she uses these quotes. All right. This is one of the um, founders, right? One of the leaders. All right. Colors. And instead of her addressing the actual things that have been brought up, the charges of the accusations that have been brought up, she directs it to the struggle that our people are going through. All right, and this shows you the quality of the leadership of our people, all right? Not only that it's a woman, uh, all right, that's, um, that's doing this, but that those who have been appointed as so-called leaders of our people not only cause you to go astray, but take advantage of you, as if you haven't been taken advantage of already. All right, this is Jeremiah 14 and 2. And it reads, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Now the gates represent leadership, rulership. All right, the leadership of a nation of people. And those gates, all right, languish. Why? Because these are not meant to be the leaders of our people. All right, the ones who are set up as uh, leaders in our people of our people in these last days, whether it's uh, sports, entertainment, even politicians, all right, activists, all of them, all right, for the most part, are compromised, bought and sold, and, or, or I should say bought and paid for. All right, and this is why there's no real progression. It's all symbolic victories. Things that look good on paper, but when you actually do the numbers and you look at the average person of your nation, it has no effect, no change. Because they're all put in those positions to enrich themselves against their nation. All right. So, Lord willing, matter of fact, let me see if there's some more on that. Yeah, it's some more. So let's get this. It says, but Colors and her colleagues didn't reveal any details on the upscale home seen behind them in the video, a 6,500 square foot spread with more than six bedrooms and bathrooms, fireplaces, a pool, and a park and parking for more than 20 cars, according to a real estate listing cited by the magazine. The property was purchased in October 2020 with funds that had been previously donated to Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation according to the explosive report. So this has nothing to do with the $3.2 million scandal by one of the leaders for buying um, how many homes? I believe it was two. Oh, four, all right? So these are two separate incidences, one for $3.2 million, all right, and another for six, which shows you that roughly between those two numbers, Black Lives Matter donations based on this article, that's about $9 million, 
$9.2 million in donations that was spent on houses, not for the homeless, not for the average Negro, Latino, or Native American, but for the leadership of a activist movement that told our people that they were fighting for justice. And this is why through the spirit, the Lord said that um, those, the just shall live by faith. Because if you trust in this system, if you trust in, you know, these organizations and this system to give you the justice that you seek, your eyes are going to fail you. And the Lord allows things like this to be revealed as a testimony to that. And this is beautiful through the spirit when you look at it, because, again, this all falls back into prophecy. All right. It shows you through the spirit that these are not the leaders of our people. Scriptures say though, those that they that lead thee cause thee to err and, des and destroy the way of thy paths. Why? Because they're enriching themselves and they're leading you astray. And this is why through the spirit, this is a beautiful time because, again, all right, the teachers are not being removed into a corner anymore. Thine eyes shall see thy teachers beginning with our apostles on down. And now we're able to see and discern through the spirit, all right, between the good and the evil. And what you're finding out is that all of the things that are set up in this world concerning our people that seem to be for our good is really evil. All right, as a matter of fact, this is Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. All right, and it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And this is what they've done, all right? And this is, all right, this situation here is just one of many examples. But when you highlight this example and look at it, you know, our people are led to a slaughter by their own people who write these narratives and tell them all kind of sweet, smooth things and then take advantage of them. All right, because BLM is not in the business of making life better for you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. It's a business like anything else in this place. The church is a business. It's not there to preach the word of the Heavenly Father. It's there to, to make money. This is why they don't pay taxes and they have a 501c3 exemption. Because it gives them ability to increase their profits. And all of these are just small examples of what the Lord had already told us aforetime. This is why the scriptures tell us to buy the truth and sell it not. So that there's a distinction between the shepherds who are eating the flock. And the ones who are actually feeding the flock. All right. So Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rokakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and the sincere salutation to Yuakim who are preaching this word and believing this word to the Aquath who are believing this word and all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.